Importing cat plants in Relux There are various ways to create an interior or exterior scene, either as a standard room, but also by importing a cat plant or background image. In this video, we will show you how to properly create a multi-story house with this function. Select interior with plan and then enter the project data. In the next step, you will have to define the type of the scene, a single interior scene or floor. By selecting Construct in top view is when you import floor plans and the option Construct in side view is when you import a section plan. The height depends on the direction of the extrusion. For our single scene, we have to define the total height of the building, which we can measure in our CAD plan if no dimensions are available. In the next step, select the CAD file for the ground floor and then determine the drawing unit. Select a termin to find the measurements directly from the plan. And by selecting the length of a known distance in the CAD plan, you can confirm the correct plan measurements. This can be done when you specify a known distance by means of two points. To set the plan rotation on a horizontal or vertical axis, select a termin in step 4. To make this easier, you can activate the further snap points. You can see that the top arrow is parallel to the horizontal axis and by selecting the wall with the bottom line, you can see that the wall is now aligned to the axis. In the last step, you can define the position of the plan in Relux. It is very essential to set a common coordinate for the first plan on the working plane origin since it will be a reference point for all other floor plans imported afterwards. By selecting Determine, you can drag the reference point of the plan to the coordinates origin. Select a common coordinate which applies for further plans as well, such as the bottom left corner of the building. After this step, you can confirm your scene and then insert the first floor plan. After measuring the room height and ground height for the first floor, go to the backstage area to import the first floor plan. Select CAD plan on the import tab then follow the same steps for the ground floor plan. Verify the plan measurements and rotation, as well as the position of the plan, so that the first floor plan is aligned to the bottom one, but also on the corresponding height. This tool is quite useful, especially when CAD plans of various floors have a different coordinate of origin. Confirm the last step, and if you need to make further changes, select Alt and Enter, for this CAD plan settings. There, you also have an overview of all CAD plans. After properly aligning the first floor plan with the other plan, select Alt and Enter again to open the properties window. There, select working plane to set the height to the same coordinates as the first floor plan. In this way, when we insert an object in the scene, it will have the origin of that floor. By selecting the Draw Prism tool, we can start defining the floor. And when done, repeat the same steps for the other floor by importing the plan and defining its parameters. Then, assigning the working plan on the same height coordinates to insert floor elements directly. If you modified the drawing file in AutoCAD after importing it in Relux, it is possible to update these changes. Select the Refresh button in the CAD plan properties. If you want to replace the current plan with a new version, then select Change current plan to load a new one. When planning a single scene project or floor project, it might be a bit confusing to have multiple plans active at the same time. So you can deactivate the view of the plan by removing the tick on Show plan. If a plan is not relevant to the scene or floor, you can remove the tick using the active scene. For example, you can deactivate the display of the first and second floor plans for the ground floor to simplify your workflow. This workflow for importing CAD plans applies for background images as well. Please stay tuned for further tips and video tutorials by subscribing on our social media channels.